Today we're heading over to look at a local tiny house. It's styled like a gypsy wagon and it's quite the sight to see. If you're excited as I am, then go ahead and hit that like button and we'll get started. Hi, tiny house people. I'm Marianne and I'm here to answer a few questions about going tiny and why would anybody do that? So the tiny house I have named Zengara. It's Italian for wanderer and that's exactly what I plan to do with her. Um, I'm gonna travel a bit with her before I move in full-time and uh, right now I'm in Florida which is where I purchased her and uh, hopefully in the spring I'll be heading west. So I'll show you a bit of the outside first. This is cedar on the exterior. Um, this is a stained glass feature in the window that uh, a gal in uh, North Carolina made. And it is solar ready. So right now there aren't any panels up on the roof, but there will be soon. Oh, this is a um, box where the battery is. And that's just a standard car battery. So right now I've got the cord for the Christmas lights up, but this is shore power. Under here is where you'd hook it up at a campground and uh, get your electricity from. And then when you walk around here, this is the garage area. <laughs> so this metal box has the propane tank in it as well as some tools. This is for the propane and this is for a hot water heater, on-demand water heater. So they're just small boxes that would hook right here, and um, this wire or this um, hose would hook up to the hot water heater, so that there's hot water in the sink inside. I'm going to build what I call a wall garden, and it's going to hang right here and be removable for travel. But I'm going to grow plants, probably some herbs for cooking in this. Um, the stained glass window with the dragonfly was made by a woman in North Carolina and she did a beautiful job. So come on in. Okay so this is the tiny house. Um, like I said it sleeps two people. These are twin size beds, uh, actually a little bit longer than a, a normal twin. And each bed has two drawers for storage underneath which is plenty for clothing. And in addition to that, there's storage underneath. Um, these both beds lift up, and so there's additional storage for blankets or towels, or uh, there's actually a fan that's in one of them. And there's shoe storage underneath. So it's very well planned out. And the tiny kitchen is just the perfect size. Um, pots and pans and dishes can go in these deep drawers. It's a garbage can in here. Um, this pulls out for for food, and there's actually quite a bit of space in there. And um, then some shelving up here for utensils and uh, cutting board. I've got knives, and I'm going to put some racks up for spices. And my intention is to build a cutting board that goes uh, around this two burner stove. This is a propane stove and I'm gonna build a cutting board that goes over this so that I have a place to chop veggies and it actually will give me a little bit more counter room. And on this side, what I have is, um, I just put this wood stove in. I actually need to get the legs put on it, but um, sorry, it's not wood stove. It's a pretend wood stove, so it, it's electric. Um, and it looks like there's a little fire in it when it's turned on. This is a, an air conditioner and it's actually uh, buckled in for travel, but um, the refrigerator is going to go here, and then I'll switch out in this spot the air conditioner or the um, fireplace, whichever one is needed. And I do have a little shelf up here, but this is going to move because I'm getting a taller uh, refrigerator. 
and over here I have a hook that holds my keys and it also holds a bag of toiletries and everything I need for the washroom because I will be staying in campgrounds for the most part and since there is no shower or bathroom in this tiny house I'll be using the one at the campgrounds. Now for nighttime for those of us that do need to have a potty at night and don't want to walk all the way to the to the uh, shower room this is a porta potty and at night I'll move it out but in the I mean in the day, daytime I'll move it out but at night that'll be here um, for emergency uses and over here this is a table that lifts up and I don't know if you can get in there and see that but you can use it for a computer desk or eating um, two people could easily sit at it and dine of course it's got one of my favorite hobbies down there my coloring books and markers and of course Sage the traveling chicken who has traveled with me all over the country and even as far as Japan she's been to Japan with me so um, that's about it for now I definitely I'm gonna put some more live plants in here because I just love the greenery and um, those little ones need some company and so I'm really just so excited about this tiny house and I uh, plan on doing some cooking videos in here and showing you how you can keep a minimal amount of items on hand, whether it be food items or utensils and pots and pans and show you how to make some incredible meals out of them and uh, just how to live on the road in a tiny house in less than 100 square feet. So I hope you'll join me. I'm really excited about this and um, follow along. Thanks. You can go check out more pictures of Zangaro and all the adventures on Marianne's Facebook page, which is linked below. If you like this sort of video, be sure to like it and leave a comment. That way I know what sort of videos to make. Thanks for hanging out with us today, you guys. 